So you recently moved to Canada and want to put all your hard earned money into a bank account. Get your first debit card, credit card, checkbooks, etc. I know the list is long. So the question is which bank to choose as the options are quite a lot. To help you with that, what we'll try to do today is break it down so that you are able to select the right bank as per your needs. Welcome back guys. If you decide to stay till the end of this video, please do not forget to subscribe. It just takes two seconds and is absolutely free. Just two seconds, please. Thank you. As a newcomer, the decision to choose the right bank depends upon quite a few factors. Starting out with monthly cost, options of credit card and debit card, number of transactions every month, deals for students or seniors, what interest rate would you get on your savings and above all safety let's get on it and see my chosen top five if you absolutely hate going to the bank branchless banking is the option for you and online banking tangent is the solution with absolutely no branches in canada tangent offers everything at zero dollars for your withdrawals credit purchases debit purchases electronic e-transfers and bill payments. On top of that, you get 0.25 interest on your savings and it also offers credit cards at $0. Benefits for newcomer, it offers up to $200 when you open a check-in account with them and make three months recurring payroll deposit. Next one is BMO, Bank of Montreal, one of the top five banks in Canada with over 900 branches and offers are quite similar to Scotiabank with monthly account ranging between $4 to $30. Their online interface is quite competitive and has all available features. It offers discounts for students and seniors. You can also start your journey in Canada with no annual fee credit card with BMO. Benefit for newcomers, it offers savings of up to $240 when you open a check-in account under the performance plan at BMO and also get 12 months of safety deposit at no cost. Next on our list is Scotiabank, one of Canada's top five bank it operates in more than 50 countries and over 900 branches in Canada. Scotiabank has one of the best web interface and offers great mobile app. Though you would be paying a minimum of $3.95 to up to $30 a month to open a minimum balance account, for students it's absolutely free and if you maintain 3000 daily closing balance, that fee is also waived off. It offers few credit cards at $0 and for newcomers, it offers you a $300 welcome bonus if you open a preferred package account with Scotiabank. Next is TD, another top five in Canada. TD is one of the most popular banks in Canada and has over 1,150 branches in Canada. TD offers new accounts at $3.95 to $29.95 every month and offers newcomers with no credit history credit card at $0 fee. It offers free six months banking for newcomers and for students, it's absolutely free. You also get a bonus of $150 when you open an unlimited check-in account with TD Bank. RBC stands at number one. And at the top five bank in Canada, RBC has the most number of clients and the most number of branches in Canada. The fee range between $4 to $30 and it doesn't offer any discounts on fee, but it, it is great for bundles when you're taking a credit card, mortgage, line of credit with RBC. Since they cut down on their service charge, you save a lot of money buying bundles with RBC and gives credit card at $0 fee. Benefit for newcomers, RBC is offering an exclusive package of up to $600 when you open an unlimited check-in account with them. Talking about safety, as far as the safety is concerned, all the banks are quite safe as your money is insured by Canada Deposit Insurance Corporation, which means if your bank goes bankrupt, you will not lose your money. Online banking is another topic which might be in your mind. It's quite safe as 76% Canadians use online banking rather than visiting bank for day-to-day -day use. Depositing cash can be done at all ATMs and checks can be deposited online using the mobile app. All payments can be done online which means you can get everything done without physically going to the bank. This is a very cool feature so let's check out how to deposit the money in the ATM.
like this video if you felt the information was useful. I hope I was able to help you choose the right bank for you and save some dollars. Please like this video and do not forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.